Welcome to this radio channel. Just a quick uh, note here that the uh, HARP facility in Alaska will um, actually resume ionospheric research this week. So um, I will try to um, give a little more details as time goes by. But um, one of the things that you need to do is if you really wish to learn about what's happening in real time, uh, just go uh, on Twitter and make sure that you follow Chris Fallen. He is going to actually post as they are doing the experiments all the things. Uh, usually what happens is when an experiment is happening, uh, you'll have from the, this guy is going to post the frequency and or frequencies. Sometimes there are multiple frequencies and what to expect as a type of signal. And of course, um, this is going to be another interesting if you want to try to listen in on something coming from Alaska, uh, the Harp facility. They're going to do a lot of little things uh, as they are going to restart some of the experiments. Uh, most of these, by the way, are in the very low frequencies. So a lot of what's happening there will be in the 2, 3, 4 megahertz range. Um, and remember that this is very high powered. So even if you're a little far away and you might say, well, I won't hear that from here. Uh, this is extremely high powered. So it might actually be easy to listen to this even very far away, even though the frequencies are quite low. So check it out and uh, make sure that you uh, follow uh, Chris Fallen. I think this is going to be the best um, to um, see what's going to happen with the HARP facility and its experiments. So, uh, you know, uh, just follow HARP chief scientist Chris Fallen. His Twitter feed is the best that you can follow if you want to have the latest on when things are actually, you know, starting up, what frequencies are used and everything. It is um, something to uh, look at and uh, kind of an interesting uh, experiment at the same time as they're doing all sorts of experiments like you know heating up the ionosphere and doing all sorts of little tests to see uh, how it can affect and you know change the propagation characteristics basically if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching